This episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by The Quarry. Available on Sony PlayStation, Xbox consoles, and PC. Head to quarrygame.com to buy now. Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's too, too many, many spirits! This is the show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky ghost stories. And ooh, we're shooting a special episode of Too Many Spirits tonight, obviously outside in front of a real campfire, and it's brought to you by The Quarry Video Game, hosted on Sony PlayStation, Xbox consoles, and PC. Head to QuarryGame.com to buy now! As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty drink prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. Stevie, what do you got for us tonight? Nothing, as usual. All right, boys! Welcome to Can't Watcher! What, what, are you, what are you holding? Or this is that is my from... baton. I could see that. <laughs> oh. 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 Looks oh. like he's had some practice Not his first time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I'm your cam counselor, Esteban Lind. You can call me Steve, though, because we're buddies here. I'm just your friendly cam counselor. Where's Ricky? Oh, yeah, where's is Ricky? Is Ricky going to be here today? Oh, Ricky! <laughs> you know what it is? I think we couldn't afford Ricky, so we went with the lower tier in the budget. Oh, we've got Ricky at home, that kind yeah, of thing. We've got yeah, Ricky yeah, at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ricky no, at home. Obviously. <laughs> Stephen, uh, where are you right now? <laughs> We're in the woods, guys. You see behind me, the trees. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, shoot, sure. it's, it's so, so dark, dark I can't see the trees. There. I do, it's crazy. Oh, my terrible. gosh, it's, it's nighttime. It's pitch black it's out there. It's spooky time. Listen to that ambiance. Boom. And the drink is called the Intent Bujita. <laughs> okay. Holy smokes, <laughs> or horse? Yeah, they, <laughs> we're intent. So the first thing is we're doing a nice and thinly sliced uh, lime widges. You almost okay. forgot what a lime was called. Uh, well, it's because it's, it's a limb with an E. Oh, right. Okay, that's right. how yeah, everyone remembers That's it. how you remember. So we're in the nature today. So the... I'm actually going to open this with my bare hands. Oh, I would love to see that. So, ah. Can't be that hard. Ooh, nature's juice. I've seen this as a trend on TikTok. It's actually really sexual, seeing people bust fruits open. Actually, I was told after the last season there was too much sex appeal. They actually had to rate the show M because of me. So, uh, unfortunately, I had to put this polo on so that you thirsty guys in the comments stop coming after me. I, okay? The drinks were definitely rated M for mediocre. <laughs> You got him. That's so funny! <laughs> hey, good good razz, man. We just razz each other, right? That's right, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, we're just razzing. So, lime goes in, and you muddle. But I already muddled with my hands, so I don't really need to muddle, but no, I'll muddle anyway. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just kidding! <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Just Steven busted his fruit while screaming. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, I just I just was a little hurt because you guys were making fun of me. No, it's all and, in good and fun. And I know we're razzing each other, but sometimes I get a little sensitive. So. Oh, sorry. We're gonna have to explain to our neighbors that we are in fact just shooting video content, and not something else. <laughs> this, is, this is not adult content, although this is adult camp. It's not adult camp. It's not camp. dad camp either. This is camp watcher. This is not daddy camp. This is not daddy camp. Watch me muddle this in daddy camp. You're confusing your camps again. I think that might <laughs> yeah. be one of your own private. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. I think uh, daddy adult. camp is where he got that muddler from. <laughs> All right, next up, um, you know. I'm actually too sober for this. We want some fun stuff, so some sugar. And you just want a, a pinch. A pinch, a please. A pinch of sugar. Oh, God. A pinch. You okay. son of a that's bitch. Not, that's not enough pinch. What are you doing? Oh, let's see how high I can muddle. Jesus Christ. It's I'm perfect. Just fucking explodes. Oh. This is more entertaining than anything he's done. I don't mind it, honestly. Oh! oh! <laughs> of course, we gotta add um, classic uh, ice, right? So. This, what, what? This looks like shit. Yeah, what is going what are you on? Doing? Are you making shaved ice? Let's, let's, let's just taste the ice to make sure it's good. Oh, Tastes oh. just like water, right? Yeah, oh, oh. it's cold. Ooh, yeah. oh. That's your review. <laughs> uh, we got rum here, and we only want like, like maybe like two ounces. Okay, so it's <sighs> like one, two, 
two, one, zero. You go up the number and you go down. It's a, a large amount of alcohol okay. in that glass. And then finally we top it off with some uh, soda water. I'll show you some, some tricks I learned. Okay. There once was a boy named Ryan, and he liked to get in trouble. And when he did, I gave him a drink, and now he is all drunk. Woo. Oh, it didn't even rhyme. No, it sure didn't. <laughs> <Some sucked. Woo. laughs> now in your mouth. Boo. Do it, pour it in your mouth from real high up. Wait, do you think I could actually pour it into his mouth from up there? Higher. Wait, it's higher. Can I try? Higher. Steven, let me see it. Let me try. Let me try. I'm going upstairs. We're. Yeah, we got a. <laughs> right on me! Oh, <laughs> All right, that's good. Back down. <sighs> guys, it's been a pleasure serving you today. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. you guys, I'm going to hit the hay. Okay. Uh, as they say, you, you enjoy your drinks, my kids, my dudes. Oh, and, and by the way, I got you a little tree toe. Because I know you like those ghosties. A little cute little ghosty for you. I know, right? I know, it's so sexy. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's I time for him to go take a nap until the next time we film one of these. And you ought to garnish with a lime wedge. <laughs> well, sort of, yeah. Well, that I'm gonna it. go into my, my bed now. Which is there, the I woods. guess. Oh, the woods. The woods. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now we got a beverage out on the way from our pal Stevie, but look, we only got, <laughs> this is only one episode. Usually mm -hmm. we spend four episodes, uh, you know, getting nice and loose, but. Uh, yeah, we ain't gonna get <laughs> zooted off of one drink. We so. gotta front load this. Cheers, to the folks. glory. Okay. How's that lime? It was so good. Oh, good. It's always. Uh, speaking of limes, Stephen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Stephen Lim, you have a a special beverage for us. I do. Oh, it sounded almost like you were gonna say Hadouken. Hello. Oh, it's your uh, fun uh, game counselor. A creepy here. little forest oh, troll. Wow. <laughs> ah. Wow, that is a large glass. That's very large. This is the largest drink we've ever had on this show. And I hesitate yes. to drink out of it after seeing what you did to it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Can oh, we I see like a clip fire. of that? Okay. Illegal on YouTube, probably. <laughs> We're gonna get demonetized. Now, we forgot to bring the spirit cam tonight. We lost it in the woods. But you know yeah. what? I can just do a little bit of this. Mm. Oh. Never mind. It's not good. You know what? It's not bad, Ooh, but Jesus. it's not good. It's very watery. The best part about it is actually if you sip near the mint leaves, yeah. it distracts you from the taste. I love to mm -hmm. just eat a little mint leaf. I like a little goat or a rabbit. Or like a brontosaurus. It gives you, take, take a bite. You're gonna love it. No, chew it! it feels like I'm eating yard work. It gets worse. What do you- No, it gets refreshing. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You're a little baby. You're you a know little... that? Hey, don't you fucking call me a baby There's baby. There's so many things. You're, you're a like, baby. You're like, I know, hey, the taste of death. It's not the most offensive thing you've ever made. No, it certainly isn't. I would give it a solid six. I'd give it a six the quarries. I'm gonna have to give it... I'm gonna give it six quarries too. I'm gonna give it six quarries too. Six quarries for me. That's, that's a, a six. six. Shall we read some stories? Oh yeah, I forgot that's what we're here to do. Yeah, we're not here just to sip mojitos. Now these yeah. are summer camp horror stories. And uh, apropos, because we're here in the woods. Next Look, to a volcano. There's an owl up there. Dude, Who those owls- for you? No, dude, owls are murderers. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Like all of our stories tonight, this one is from Instagram. You mean Gramtown? Gramtown. This is from Ipsa261. My dad told me this story about a friend of his in college. I don't like hearing about my dad's friends. In India. Whoa, never mind. That's, I like a little international flavor in these things. Well, you I, know, I thought it was just gonna be a dad's friend It's always story. people like, oh, my cousin was murdered in Kenosha, you know? Yeah, I guess. Let's call them Petey and J Jim John for convenience. Yeah, Petey and Jim John. Both newly married to their respective wives decided to go on a trip to the mountains. Yeah. They decide to stop at a motel after hours of driving. Exhausted, Jim John tries to <laughs> fall asleep. At one point, he can hear Petey in the shower, and he wonders how Petey has the energy to take a shower after such a long journey. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty relaxing to take a shower after a long journey. That's though. the whole thing! I go take a shower at like 4 a.m. Well, mostly because if I got into the bed after ghost hunting- It'd be gross. It'd be disgusting. Yeah. We'd get fined by the hotel, but. Eventually, he hears the water turn off, and a moment later, uh, he feels uh, uh, Petey slamming his entire body weight down on him. Jim John is used to Petey's stupid pranks, but tonight he's tired as hell. That's Pissed it. off, he pushes Petey off, throwing the blanket with him. To his surprise, he finds Petey sleeping on his side in a deep rest, fully dry. Are we sure this story didn't come from Tumblr? How it's the hell did he way, pull that off? Way too horny. Groggy and confused, Jim John feels the blanket still wet. From the bathroom, there are wet footprints leading towards the bed. He woke everyone in the room up, and they looked in the bathroom, but they found nothing. This actually happened to my parents in Vegas. Did it really? Yeah. They got wet? No, they, well, maybe, I have no idea. <laughs> but we don't have to talk about my, my conception story right now. They were in a room yeah. at the Venetian. They heard stuff in the bathroom when they were asleep, and they went into the bathroom, and the tub was full of water. And they were like, that's weird. Did one of you draw a bath? And they were like, no. And so they went, they drained it, went back to sleep. And in the middle of the night, my mom awoke to someone using the bathroom and flushing it. And she looked over and my dad was next to her in bed. Freaky. And then they went down to the craps table. And when they came back up, the tub was full of water again. That's wild, man. So maybe- I ghosts... believe they believe that happened. Unbelievable. Oh. The point of the story is ghosts just, they love getting wet. If we catch ghouls, they're all wet. They're wet we, as hell. A dry ghoul was boring. Our ghosts are the equivalent of like a juicy roast beef dipped in some. Oh yeah, yeah. Soup. You thought my part was inappropriate. What was that all about? Yeah. It's just about, it's just ghost no, hunting. No, Semantics. I, oh, let's see if your thing is still more inappropriate. <laughs> let's, we, let's, let's can cut we cut to a clip of that? Okay, you know, I think that's still more inappropriate. Okay. I apologize to the viewers at home for showing you that clip again. This is what you're drinking right now. <laughs> yes. I know, and that's the most disturbing part. I have to drink whatever it was that you did. Can we see that again? That's in my mouth now. <laughs> That's the end of the story. That's the end of the story? Yeah. Sometimes they leave a little to be desired. Sometimes they give you a little taste and they're like, hey, what's gonna happen there? I give that one five quarries. No, I'm, gonna give that, I'm gonna give that one six quarries. And here's why. Okay. It was just more like a tease. It was just- I could have used more wet, more wetness. Now that story was definitely just the tip. Yeah, we need more. I want a wetter ghost. Okay. Instagram schmoose. Schmoose? That's the name, I don't know, I didn't make it up. Get what, into it. What voice should I use here? Um, creepy camp counselor. Oh, like one that's like really trying to ham it up? Yeah. Like the, the. Gather round kids. A popular camp in my area is considered haunted because there are rumors of it sitting on a children's graveyard. There's no such thing as a children's grave. What are you talking, what? They don't just bury children in a specific spot. Do not challenge schmoose. Okay, <laughs> I guess you're right. I won't challenge schmoose. A great place for a fifth grade camping trip. There's an exclamation point at the end, so like. Let's get a, let's get a little more energy Okay, there. how about, I'll say it again, I'll say that. There are rumors of it sitting on a children's graveyard. A great place for a fifth grade camping trip. Yeah, that's good. The cabin I was assigned to sleep in had one teacher and six girls. Okay. All the girls slept on one side of the cabin, and the teacher had one bunk bed to herself on the other side. It's kind of annoying to sleep in a bunk bed when there's no one else on the bunk bed. I had a bunk bed growing up. But you had a brother that no, was also- he slept in another room. Why did you I have I just a... used it for sleepovers. Anytime a friend would come over, they'd sleep oh, on the top bunk. Oh, shoot, dude. Yeah, it was put... really fun. Were you ever scared that the top bunk was gonna collapse and you were gonna die in your no, sleep? No, it was very sturdy. The first night, I had a hard time falling asleep on my top bunk because I kept hearing a squeaking sound. Oh. Like an old swing in the wind. Uh. But there was no wind. No. <laughs> I've never been to summer camp, so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know how things go there. I got a feeling if you're hearing squeaking in the middle of the night at a summer camp, it might not be haunted. <gasps> After falling asleep, I suddenly woke up in the middle of the night and felt disoriented, like the world shifted. I looked across at the other beds and saw no one. I quickly climbed down and saw the teacher asleep. I woke her up and said everyone was gone. She angrily told me no one had left, pointing to the other side of the cabin. I looked and I saw everyone fast 
asleep. Wow. The next morning, the teacher scolded me for not writing on my permission slip that I sleepwalk. My classmates told me that I had climbed down my bunk bed, walked to the mirror in the hall, looked at myself for a bit, <laughs> oh. <laughs> then walked to the other side to climb up the opposite bunk bed. To this day and before that night, I've never walked in my sleep. That was the one and only time I've ever sleepwalked. No way, I don't buy it. I don't know who you are, schmoose, but you want to put like a uh, like one of those little air tags on yourself and track yeah. your own motion because you might be murdering people. There's I think something you're right. inherently you're right. scary about a child staring at themselves in the mirror, asleep, <clears throat> talking to themselves. I think that's really fun to sleepwalk, and that's what you do. You go in front of the mirror, you start like moving your hips like Shakira. I think I've told like this that. exact story perhaps on too many spirits before, but I had a friend growing up who would sleepwalk and they would go to their, fam their house's front door and open the door in the middle of the night and talk to no one. That's like awesome. someone had come to that. That's I like, awesome. I like that. <laughs> Honestly, I love a spooky child talking to a mirror. It's gonna be uh, eight quarries out of 10 for me. That's an eight. It's gonna be uh, nine. That's a nine? Yeah, I was gonna give it a 10, but then I realized on a show called Too Many Spirits for there to be no, no spirits, that's like the opposite of too many. Yeah. It feels like a nine, but it was a good story and I was riveted. Does it get a schmooze bump? I, I don't think it even got the schmooze bump for me. So that might be a 10 for you then with the schmooze bump. With the schmooze bump, yes, but I'm not incorporating the schmooze bump because that's stupid. Oh, I incorporate the schmooze bump. I will always incorporate the schmooze bump. All right. Well. Don't you disrespect, don't you, don't you, hey. Okay, next story. This is from K. Simon 220. This past summer, at summer camp, it was a dark and stormy night. The best kind, you know? Yeah, great. <laughs> Which is to say it was pouring rain at like 2 a.m. Woke up the whole cabin. Lots of cabins. My, well, nice. yeah. Well, it's a summer camp theme, yeah, you're yeah. right. I forgot where we yeah, were. Uh, uh, lots of uh, tents and camping. It's a lot of camp theming <laughs> with these stories around our camp theming. <laughs> My friend Maddie and I hear whispering outside. We think it's the other cabin. But then again, it's pouring. Why would they be outside? Have you ever walked outside in the middle of like a Oh my a, God, a it's, big, all we, like a, oh, it's all we do in the Midwest. It's one of our, Steve, you can attest to this, when it's just pouring oh rain. Oh God, don't get him started on the out, Midwest. It's like the third act of Shawshank Redemption. If we, like, if we let him go oh, on a Midwest oh, weather tangent, you're gonna have to move that card oh, a little bit lower just to hide it. The cleansing rain, it purifies you, washes all your sins away. I was just saying that sometimes when there's a, an occasional Los Angeles uh, torrential downpour. Yeah, every three and a half years. Sure. You wanna go out and you just wanna feel it on your face. Yeah. And maybe reenact that scene from The Notebook. It feels good. I waited for you. I wrote you letters. Every damn day! <laughs> anyway, we're talking about it the next morning at breakfast. Yeah? Joking that it was a ghost, cool. much to our counselor's dismay. And the camp director walks over. Turns out there's a story of a ghostly woman in white at camp. Why are women when they die so monochromatic? Yeah. They're all white. That's a question for you. You're the Mr. Ghost. Hey man, I don't know. Mr. Ghost over here. Look, dude, I'll have to talk to God and be like, you gotta up some, give some mods. Up, up, some update, mods. update the update the firmware, because yeah. these, these folks could wear like something fun, like a goofy hats from Disneyland. Oh yeah, you know, that'd be fun. Yeah, with the big ears. Apparently the woman who was getting married was nervous the night before. She just decided to try her dress on and go for a walk in the dress. However, this was a long time ago, so the dress was really heavy. <laughs> Those dresses from old times do look heavy as hell. And when she walked down to the beach, the dress got wet. Ooh, another wet ghost. Uh, another wet ghoul, our favorite uh, kind. Yes. And because of that, it got even heavier, leading to her somehow drowning on the shoreline, and now she walks the grounds in her wedding gown. That makes Hang sense. Hang on! That makes sense why she's wet. No, that doesn't make any sense. You're telling me yeah. she's out walking on the shoreline, Yeah. her dress gets wet, Mm -hmm. And it gets so wet that she drowns. <laughs> oh no! I was. I think the suggestion is that she got taken into the tide or something like that. That doesn't make. You... Okay. Well, there's more. And now she walks the grounds in her wedding gown, which is a yeah really depressing. Tr true. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. And b 
Not what I was expecting to hear at like 8 in the morning. But anyway, our counselor slept with a lantern on in the middle of the cabin for the rest of the time we were there because we scooped it. Oh, dude, you know? if I was a counselor, I would just scare the shit out of yeah. my little counselees. I'd, I'd, every place we'd go, I'd be like, yeah, mailman choked to death over there. Uh, oh, I would get one of those like knives that was like kind of half cut off and glue it to my back and be like, ah! Somebody stabbed me! Somebody stabbed me! Call the police! If Michael Myers is outside, even yeah. though that doesn't make sense because it would probably be more accurate if it was Jason Voorhees. That's the end of that story. I like that story because I like a spooky counselor. I'm gonna give that a solid nine quarries out of ten. That's a nine from me. I'm gonna have to give it eight out of ten quarries. It's a good story, but it didn't wow me. It didn't have that extra oomph. It didn't give you the, the full Owen. What? Wow. Oh. Next story! Good toss. Thank you. This comes from Gramtown from user, I'm a plant person. Oh. You know, what, what should I do here? I like this voice. I thought I saw a man in the yeah, woods. That's it. That sounds just like a child who went to summer camp. Yeah. You're a, a boy oh, oh. who just got back from summer camp. You're telling your parents about what just happened. I thought I saw a man in the woods when I was camping at Girl Scout camp. You're about to pee your pants. I was only about eight or nine and went to this week-long camping trip with about 100 other girls sure. and troop leaders only. I remember the only men there being the cook and a man that owned the property living in a small house near by the campsite. Once in the middle of the night, I had to go to the bathroom and I didn't want to bring my buddy because she was lame. <laughs> <laughs> and that means she must have been really lame if you're scared and you're still like, too no, lame, I'll go alone. Yeah. I, I tried to rush to the bathroom in the freezing cold, and on my way back to the cabin, I thought I heard what sounded like something running through the trees next to me. I turned to look, and I saw nothing moving while still hearing the sound almost getting louder. It startled me, so my walking turned to running. I made it to the cabin door. The sound stopped. And before I closed the door, I turned to see what looked like a very tall silhouette of a man standing with his legs sort of sp spread and crouched. Like sort of a, I'm trying to imagine. Like a man spread of, eagle? Or like, like sort of, yeah. Like sort of like that. Make sure we get a close up on, on his zipper hanging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> and both arms pointed straight up. Can we get back, okay. can we see that again? Both arms pointed straight. That, that sounds like a, that sounds more monkeyish. That is scary. That guy could have been uh, uh, doing an outside the bathroom dump. And it, it was a particularly good one, so he we went like, "Yeah!" <laughs> I gasped, shut the door hard, and laid under my covers whilst the other girls snored. I didn't really tell anyone, and honestly, forgot till now. LOL. The the description of the uh, sort of position of this person is very unique and unnerving. Yeah. When people contort themselves in strange ways, like the grudge girl, remember when oh, she- Oh yeah, 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 or the ring girl. She does that stuff too, she's like pop-locking. She's pop-locking. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. That's 10 quarries out of 10. I, I, no, but I want you to really, now nah, you seem like you're wavering, but I want you to imagine seeing a man in the middle of the night in the forest crouched down with his hands up. I, I'm, can I see it again? I need to see it one more time. Now turn towards me. Actually, you know what? Can you turn towards wherever your close up is? I need the audience to see that. Look straight in the camera. You know what? I, upon further reflection, while wow, you're really shaking, you need to work on your core strength. Don't do that. You know what? 10 out of 10 quarries. Great. Uh, oh, that's, that's too, too many, many quarries. quarries. And can there ever be really? No. No, there by, can't. By infinite copies of the game. You can never be too sure. That's buy right. one copy, Corey buy game, another one. CoreyGame.com, go right now to buy Corey more. So you can get two video many games for yourself. <laughs> yeah, genuinely am excited to play that game. Me too. You're gonna really play good. it exactly in that position that you were just in. That's right. Controller above your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh, no, wait. Shh. Do you hear that? It's the final story. I thought, I thought we had one more, but I saw you didn't have any more, and I didn't have I don't have any either. What if we... That's not a piece of coal. Stick your hand in the fire. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, but you have to do this for Nonsense. the viewers. <clears throat> oh. 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 We've been blessed. Oh. 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 We've been blessed. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> 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 
I couldn't do it. This is from St. Brooklyn on Instagram. When I was eight, our family went camping. I like this voice. You're very Buffalo Bill-like. I don't know what's going on. At a lake with our RV. However, in the middle of our trip, the toilet got messed up. You sound like anonymous. Say, put the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> it does sound pretty good. However, in the middle of our trip, the toilet got messed up, so we had to use the community bathrooms, which was a long walk from our RV. I hated going anywhere alone, but when I had to go, all the adults were night fishing, and my sister wouldn't come with me. On my way to the bathroom, I heard someone call my name. <laughs> and I thought it was my sister calling me to say she was coming and to wait up. But when I turned around, she wasn't there. Five seconds later, I heard it again. But it sounded like my mom. What? <laughs> While continuing to walk to the bathroom, I heard my name called once again. But now it's followed with a, come here. Because it's my mom's voice, I start walking toward it. However, when I'm getting close to the trees, I hear my mom and sister yelling for me. Oh, you can't trust that. Wait a second. Your mom's voice coming from the forest at night, you know your mom's not out there. You're walking towards that? I'm not. Absolutely not. I'm not. You've heard that classic scary story. You've heard this one. So you hear your mom downstairs. She's like, oh, come on downstairs. I'm yeah. making French toast, whatever. You're walking. And then from the closet, you know, in the hallway, someone reaches out and grabs your hand. And it's your mother. Yeah. She's like, don't go down there. That's not your mother. <gasps> It's like, who do you trust? That's good. That's good, right? That's it's like good. a nice little mini scary story. Anyway. I hear my mom and sister yelling for me, but their voices are coming from behind me. When I saw them, I told them that I heard mom calling me from the opposite direction. My heart dropped to my feet when they told me that my mom had gotten to the RV just as I had left. After years of telling this story, I've had people tell me the legend of the skinwalker but I've always told myself it was just a prank. Is that the end of the story? <laughs> yeah. That's the end of the story? That's it. Loved it. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> a nasty mother. Uh, I don't know anything about a skinwalker. Skinwalkers are basically some like- Some people I was like, do that on unsolved. Yeah, they're like, they're like a, 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 a cryptid of sorts. Yeah, that sounds like a scary experience. I'm glad you made it through it. Keep on trucking. Don't tell this story to anyone else. They'll think you're weird. That's gonna be an eight from me. Eight quarries out of 10. I'm gonna have to give that seven quarries out of 10. Well, now that's been a good time here around the real campfire in the real outdoors. That's Ryan, right. thanks for sharing these scary stories with me tonight. Steven, thank you for the beverage. Chili. And thank you all for joining us for this very special episode. Stick around next week. We got another full season of Too Many Spirits coming in hot. And all of the, it's really something. <laughs> we'll see you then, folks. A farewell. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by The Quarry. Available on Sony PlayStation, Xbox consoles, and PC. Head to quarrygame.com to buy now.